Hello again everyone, this is Cutiepie88 and thanks so much for tuning back into my channel. So today I'm coming to you guys with something a little different. I ordered three bundles of hair off of Amazon and I decided to make my own tape-in extension. So if you want to know how I did it, then definitely stay tuned. So I ordered these three bundles. It is a bundle of 18, 20, and 22 off of Amazon. Um, and it was under $70 for all three bundles. So really, really good deal. And what I'm going to use to attach uh, the hair to my head is these hair extension tapes that I got from Sally's Beauty. One pack is a pack of 70, so I had to get two packs just to make sure I had enough. So it's very, very simple. I actually applied the tapes along the wefts and I used two bundles of hair which made um, 80 tapes so I had a total of 80 tapes so really easy process all I did was peel um, the backing of the tape and laid it on the weft and it was a very simple process but it did take a while very very tedious as far as laying the tapes on there and cutting them individually but it was easier than I thought and the hard work really really paid off So as you saw, I peeled um, the strip off of the back of the paper and I laid it on the weft. Now I will say that I did have to buy an additional type of tape just to make sure it um, you know, adhered to my hair properly, but I will show you guys that later. So right now these specific tapes, um, you can apply heat to them and the heat just bonds the glue um, to the lace. So this is a double sided tape, like I said I got it from Sally's and I bought two packs and each pack has 70 pieces so um, the glue has to adhere to the weft so it's double sided so one side has glue the other side has glue and um, you have to bond it to the weft to make sure the tape stays on so that's what I'm doing right now and I wouldn't go above a temperature of 400 during that process so again this is how it's going to look and you're just going to have a bunch of wefts with a bunch of tapes on them so right now y'all don't make fun of my school scissors <laughs> but these are the only ones I could find but all you have to do is just literally go and cut each piece and you'll end up with 80 of them like I did or more or less just depending on the thickness of your hair I have pretty thick hair so I needed a lot um, to add length so this right here is like almost 90 to 100 but I ended up only using about 80 which comes out to about 200 grams, which is two bundles of hair. So this is one piece that I had left. I have a piece identical to this um, that was left over. So I really have about, about one and a half bundles in my hair because this one was left off of one bundle. So I only have about one and a half bundles in my head which is about 150 grams. So what I did was I made sure I didn't have a fresh perm because I didn't want the hair to, um, you know, be fragile in a fragile state if I'm putting, you know, double-sided tape on them. So I didn't relax my hair, but I did wash it and clean it and flat iron it really, really well. And this is my leave out section. So I left out hair around the crown area, a large leave out area in the front so I can have a left, right, or middle part and just hair all the way around. And I'm going to use a U-shaped pattern going up. I don't wanna go straight across um, because I want the tapes to be as adjustable as possible. So I decided to use a U-shape. So for each section, you're gonna need two tapes. You're gonna need two and I'm doing the sandwich method. So I'm gonna go into details later, but these are how the pieces look. Um, of course, I suggest you really understand your own hair texture and the thickness and thinness of your hair. If you have kinky hair, um, go with like a yakky texture um, because you want it to blend. You don't want to have thick hair and then baby doll thin um, extensions. 
my hair can get pretty straight so these tapes are fine um because i straighten my hair with heat and it can get pretty fine but if your hair still has a kinky thick texture i suggest you know after flat ironing i suggest you get a yakky texture extension So before I get into the install, I just wanted to clarify, I have I had 80 tapes, but each section takes two tapes, so I really had 40 in my head. It really gets confusing, but I'm trying to explain it as easy as possible. I had a total of 40, but I had 80 pieces to complete the sandwich method. So here is just a tiny piece of hair that I have um, sectioned off to start my um, first tape. So what I did was, of course, I had to peel um, the tape off from the middle they peel from the middle so this is a double sided tape so this is the other side of the tape and because you use the flat iron um, the glue um, the double sided tape is now um, really really secure onto the weft and this is just how I did it um, there's many different methods on how to do it, but this was just the easiest way I found was to part my hair first. Um, so what I did was, I'm actually putting it on the wrong way, <laughs> flip it over. So um, sticky side down, don't put it too close to your scalp. That was actually a little bit too close, but it was fine. But sticky side down, and then what you're gonna do, and this one wasn't sticking right. So this is the moment I knew that I needed another type of tape, but you guys will see that later. So sticky side down, and then you need another one because you're gonna do the sandwich method. So actually, like I said, I had 80 of these pieces, but two pieces make one section. So I really had 40 in my head, and I know that sounds like a little bit, but I have a lot of hair and I couldn't really fit. It's really hard to explain. <laughs> you just have to go with the flow and get a feel for how many you need. So as you can see, I placed the one on top. My hair is sandwiched in the middle. So the top one has the glue side down and the bottom one has the glue side up facing each other. So you want the sticky side to face each other. And what you do, you take your flat iron and then you're going to melt the two pieces together. So it's just me checking um, how straight across it is and it looks good. So this is how it's gonna look when you flip it up and down. And if it's a little piece that kinda is in the way, just flip that up. And this is basically what I did all the way up my hair. You guys just a disclaimer i am not a licensed professional this is me just finding a way to do tape ends myself but this is um when i decided to use some walker tape this is a roll of double double-sided walker tape that i got on amazon if you're interested all the products will be on my amazon storefront the link is in the description box but what i did was i took the pieces that already had the glue um part and i kind of glued it towards the walker tape so I needed a stronger tape because those tapes from Sally weren't doing the job. <laughs> so I did the glued side face down and um, this walker tape was actually amazing. I should have used this from the beginning, but I was looking into reviews on the Sally ones. Everybody said that was good, but walker tape was better. So this is me taking a thin section of my own hair. Um, and like I said, I'm not a professional, you guys. This is just my first time trying this method. I didn't leave any of my own hair in between these. So you can do the same as method, method uh, you know, have a piece of your own hair like this in between them, but I didn't do that. I just use the sandwich method all the way up. So like I said, get a feel for your own hair and um, you know, determine how many tapes you'll need. I wanted a full head, so I didn't leave any of my hair in between. That is the hair I'm going to use for the sandwich method.
Also, I didn't film this process um, much, but the process of me using the flat iron to um, kind of melt the two pieces together. So I just used the flat iron and squeezed it on these um, extensions to just bond the glue together a little bit better. I held it for about 10 seconds to make sure they were secure. And this is how it was looking. It was looking really good. I was really pleased on how flat everything was. The hair looks great. Um, yeah, and I just use this process all the way up. With this piece, I tried it without the walker tape just to see if it was just my error. I was doing it wrong. Um, this is the Sally's tape only, but this tape did not hold as well. As you can see, it's a piece of walker tape and I'm trying to apply the Sally tape against the walker tape and that did not work. The walker tape against walker tape really, really worked well. So I definitely recommend that tape and it will be in the description box and my Amazon storefront. So this is where the U part, um, you know, the U shaped is coming into play. Um, I did it like this because I wanted to wear my hair in a ponytail. And if the tapes were straight across, I could only do a high ponytail, but I like my ponytails kind of in the middle of my head, if that makes sense. But this is me almost done. Um, I only have that little bit of section and I had a lot of hair <laughs> in my head, um, but yeah. I am pretty much, I think I'm done at this point. It looks a little messy, but guys, it really, really laid flat and I was actually really pleased on how it came out. So this is all the hair um, without me taking out, you know, the hair that I'm gonna use to blend in. And it's, it's looking thick, it's looking nice. I wish my own hair was flatter, like relaxed, but I didn't risk, I didn't wanna risk my hair being too fragile for this uh, process. As you guys saw, I took out my hair and y'all, like I'm really, really pleased on how this came out. It is so flat, like I'm loving it. Even though I didn't use like pre-made pre wefts, even with the thick, thicker wefts from the bundles, it lay really flat. Like I was really, really pleased and surprised. Um, and like I said, I wish my hair got flatter, but I flat ironed it as much as I could. And this looks like my real hair. Like, of course, in the front, you're gonna see a line of demarcation. You're gonna see where my real hair and the, um, the weave, uh, like, separates. Um, but that's okay, like, that didn't bother me, like, wearing it. So, um, you have to be sure the edges of the wefts lay down as much as possible because I had, like, a few pieces, like, the edges of the wefts kind of poking through, like, poking up. So whenever you're flat ironing the um, double-sided tape to the webs, just make sure the edges 
uh, lay completely f flat against each other just so you don't have any edges of the wefts uh, sticking up through your hair but it looks really really good I was really pleased I had to go in and flat iron my hair again just to make it flatter but I actually love the way this turned out So right now I'm just going to go through and press my leave out, kind of figure out where I want my part to be. And you guys just sit back, relax, and just watch me uh, finalize uh, these DIY tape-ins. So y'all, this is the final look. Now my real hair doesn't curl very well. So I had to, um, I have to do a better job like curling it later, but this was just real quick for the video. Um, so I did use some of this holding spray, um, which is really good um, because my hair doesn't hold a curl well, but y'all, it looks like I have a really good sew in. It feels so light, but at the same time, it does feel like the tape-ins are going to slip out every time you brush your hair. So it's a weird feeling, especially having these in for the first time. But I'm really, really pleased. It looks like a really, really good leave-out sew-in, but it's so versatile and flexible. I can put it up in a ponytail, anything I want. So if you guys enjoyed this DIY, please drop a like and a comment. And you guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, just so I can keep bringing you guys content like this, let me know how much you like this video and if you want me to kind of redo um, this style and show you guys like different styles on how to style it and things like that, just drop a comment and let me know. But thanks so much for watching you guys. I really, really do appreciate you guys for staying tuned and stay tuned for all my future videos. Hit subscribe and the notification bell so you know exactly when I upload. Thanks for watching again, you guys. Bye.